it's Miwago. I'm going to be narrating today the Choco book, which is the official book of Modi Girl Fashion. I hope that you learn a lot and this can become helpful in your journey of Modi K. Nice to meet you. I'm Choco. It's been about three years since I have founded the Modi Girl community on Mixit on August 24, 2006. The reason I created the Modi Girl community was because I like things that are, are a little different. I don't choose traditional cute things and I have a contrary taste. So I thought, I like to find people who like the same clothes as me and have the same hobbies as me. I hope that throughout this book, you can learn what kind of girl a Modi Girl is. However, since Modi Girls are girls who value the things and the clothes they like regardless of trends, there's no right answer. I hope that you can use this book as a reference and enjoy the cute photos. Mixi Modi Girl Community Administrator, Choco Choco, the author and creator of Modi K, decided to make this book because Modi K got so popular and many wanted to learn more about the fashion. This book will help you create better outfits and understand her vision behind Modi K. I have to say that there has been a lot of misunderstanding when it comes to Modi K. Uh, the fashion is a unique style that doesn't follow trends and wasn't supposed to be considered or seen as kawaii, but feminine yet mature and modest. There's a huge guideline of around 60 things that you can use to help you in your journey. Uh, even though it's a guideline, others consider it as a rules book, just like every other day fashion style. In my opinion, even though it's not called a rules book, to me it works as it, and I call it the rule book of Monique. When I used not to follow anything, my outfits were not looking how I wanted to. I didn't know what I was doing wrong and just after getting the book, I started reading more the guidelines and I started incorporating the things that she mentioned and it helped me a lot. Shoko personally add different details from her own guide list and applies it to every outfit to create something unique and special. In this video, you will see the foundation and see what was the original concept and vision of the fashion made by Choco. The pieces that you see in this book were created from Choco's own closet and many were sponsored by popular brands at the time. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Monique content video. It really helps with the algorithm. Through some of the few pages, you can see some of the verse that if you put together, they form a poem-like story. This poem is about appreciating the simple and quiet moments in nature. It encourages you to listen to the wind, notice the light, and take breaks when you're tired. The poem suggests that nature with its plants, flowers, animals, and birds has a lot to teach us. It talks about finding joy in small things like walking in the forest, listening to the whisper of the wind, and discovering new things. It also emphasizes the beauty of exploring and following memories ultimately leading to a new light or understanding. Let's go ahead and start with the first topic. <laughs> camera things. Whenever I go out, my camera is always with me. I like all kinds of cameras, but when I was a student, I learned how to develop photos in the photography club. And from then on, I started to like analog cameras. I think the appeal is that they preserve memories as films and not as data. When something important happens, I want to preserve the memories on film. That's what I think. My recent favorite is a toy digital camera that can take retro photos. I often use it when I want to capture a soft atmosphere. I love lights and lamps, the sunlight filtering through all the trees, soft lights of the street lamps at night, and the silhouette of leaves reflected on the ground in that light. When I see candles, I can't help but take pictures. I want to remember their stunning beauty as long as I can. When I participated in an event where candles were placed all over the city, it was so beautiful that I was moved that I kept taking pictures. The warm, sparkling lights that shone subtly differently depending on the color of the candle glass went fantastic. I like capturing and recording lots of images in my camera like this. But actually, I love looking at the developed photos and reminiscing about those times more than I love taking photos themselves. I find it incredibly satisfying to recall all sorts of things, such as the place where I took the photo, the expression of my friends' faces, the season, and so on, and reminisce about what it was like at that time. What is a Girl? 
what kind of fashion? Am I a model girl? It can't be explained in one word. Let me tell you a little secret about model girls. I like loose fitting dresses. It looks natural, but it's a bit of a unique fashion. I also like ethnic clothing. I like deep colors such as burgundy, deep green, navy blue, and brown. I like fluffy hats made out of knit or fur. I like ponchos and boleros. I want to have a leather bag. I always end up using a pochette. I like bucket watches. I like animal motifs. I like sweet motifs. I like checks and dots. I like retro floral patterns. I like lace. I like Tyson leggings. I like round toes shoes. I want to wrap my scarf and stuff around myself. I like to relax at a cafe. I like taking walks with a camera in hand. I can help but visit various miscellaneous goods stores, and my seasons are autumn and winter. Aileen is a favorite of Morty Girls. It spreads out softly towards the hem, and the soft silhouette gives a feminine impression. The dress and skirt are cute just by wearing them, but layering them is also a Morty Girl look. Try layering a petticoat or a venti dress to show off a little bit of your figure, or add volume to your upper body without cardigan or a scarf. The more prominent your A-line clothes are, the more you can spice things up with accent colors and accessories. Moody girls are looking for a style that is cute, but not just that. When wearing girly clothes with floral patterns or lace, they try color combinations. They are not too sweet and play around with deep color accessories and tights. Moody girls are neither natural nor simple, but has a slightly quirky, slightly contrarian feel. Even if it looks like a normal t-shirt at first glance, it has a unique design. I like that style. Folklore style is characterized by unique embroidery patterns and colors that are reminiscent of ethnic customs. Even seemingly standard items such as boots, earmuffs, and bags can be transformed into folklore items by adding embroidery and fur. A skirt with some tyrolean tape, a poncho with pom-poms, a floral embroidered plate. The appeal of this eye-catching folklore item is that just one piece can give you a Mardi Girl style. Body girls are particular about textures, especially fluffy materials, which makes them feel happy just by holding them. Fluffy fur, soft knit, soft mountain fabric, fluffy boa, a material that feels good to wear and when you think about it, it looks cute too. When choosing clothes and accessories, of course the appearance is important, but body girls also value the texture of the material. Antiques with a retro feel that seems to have been used over time. There must be many more girls who love such old things. If you use a approach, you can fasten a scarf or attach it to your clothes. Coordinating with the current items, it's amazing how adding just one item to your outfit can make it look so elegant and beautiful. Antique lace collars and flower corsage are so beautiful and lovely that they make you sign, giving a delicate and cute impression. So guys, this is everything for today's video. I hope you have liked this part one of the Moody Girl Chocos Bible book. I am going to continue and make for next week the next part of the book. I hope you guys are excited to watch that video as I am. And I really appreciate all your support. So thank you again for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.